Have you ever wondered how someone with really long hair can actually get their hair dry with the Revair? Well, go through this video with me and I'll show you exactly how I do it. I've been using the Revair on my own hair and in the salon for over three years now. It's literally my favorite hair tool ever. And look how straight that just got my hair. It still amazes me. So you'll notice I go ahead and I insert all of the hair in and you'll keep seeing me take my other hand and touch just like that. And that's where I'm actually feeling to make sure it's dry. And I do that all the way down. And then if it's not dry yet, I will actually pull it down some and then I will hold it further down the hair shaft. And then I'll again touch it with my other hand like that and I will make sure it's completely dry. And then I kind of slowly pull it out. Um, that way it's almost kind of acting as a flat iron if you kind of apply some pressure with your hand as you're pulling it out. That's just one of the things I've always done with it because it almost gives it more of a flat iron polish look. See kind of how it's slowly pulling out. And then I do make sure to brush my hair every section before I actually put it in to make sure there is no tangles. Um, there again, you see me checking with my hands to make sure it is dry, slowly pulling down, filling the middle part, slowly pulling out. Sometimes you'll pull the hair out and it might not be all the way dry at the end, and then I'll just reinsert it back on that lower portion of the hair, and then I will finish drying it. Another thing that is important is the section that you're putting into the wand. Some people take way too thin of a section. By doing that, you are going to be more prone to causing tangles. So you want to make sure that you have just enough hair, but not too much. You don't want it to be more than the circumference of inside the actual wand. So keep that in mind. And another tip I like to give you guys is if you do have finer hair or more damaged hair, you definitely would want to take the bottom portion of your hair in a thicker section because it's not really going to be as thick as the top of your hair and dry that first. And then after you get that lower section dried at a lower speed, then you can subdivide the section and then get the top part towards your root dry. That way it will prevent it from getting tangly at the bottom. If you would like a video of me demonstrating that, I will make a separate video, so leave a comment if you want that. Another thing that people always say is don't you fear your hair getting caught inside of the wand or the rev air, and there's really nowhere for it to get caught unless your hair for some reason is longer than the actual tubing system all the way down to the base. If you do have hair that is longer than that entire tube, yeah, then you are not going to be able to stick all of it all the way down in there, obviously. But most of us don't have hair that long. And I have super long hair. It goes all the way down to my bottom. And I don't have any problem with my hair getting, quote unquote, stuck in the rev air because there's nowhere for it to get stuck. So rest assured, you don't have to worry about it. And just look at these results I'm already getting. It does an amazing job getting my hair dry from scalp to ends and for my hair particularly it looks like I've pretty much flat ironed it and I really don't have to flat iron it after I do this unless I'm going for a super skinny polished look but look how amazing this is guys. 